Hey guys, I'm just another engineer, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Now, a few things before we get started. One, thank you, I guess. Um, since the last video that I uploaded, it wasn't um, Scrap Mechanic, it was Factorio, that uh, series that I started. Um, about four people have subscribed to the channel, uh, which is honestly surprising. I didn't think that this would actually be going anywhere. Um, and that kind of brings me to my next point. I'm sorry, because it's been so long that four people have been able to subscribe since I've last uploaded a video. It's been two weeks since I uploaded um, any video, and it's been an entire month since I uploaded uh, something about uh, building the Turbo Snail. So. Um, <laughs> I, I have not been really thinking about all this stuff lately. I've been kind of off doing my own thing. Um, recently I got Subnautica, which is a very fun game. So if any of you want me to, s if any of you want to see me play that for some reason, then you know I'm up for doing that. Just anything for variety sakes, because the there's a lot of tedious work to be done for this computer, and that brings me to another point. Um, this is going to be very interesting to record, because if I remember last time, when I was wiring up 16 uh, memory addresses, they weren't bytes, because they were in a series of 16, uh, 16 bits, um, it took me probably about three hours total to make that one thing and there's no way that I'm only going to go to 16 bits with this thing. I'm going to take it as far as my computer can handle it. So I'm going to have a lot of these guys. Um, I want to get 256. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds, 256 is the goal. Um, Realistically, it's probably only going to be 128, or actually, even 64 would be amazing, because a jump from 16, and just a reminder, it isn't a linear thing, it's not going to be, you know, four times harder to go from 16 to 32, it's going to be a lot harder because the more connections that you get, the more, you know, messed up everything's going to be, the harder it's going to be to actually see what I'm doing, and also the distance is going to be a thing. So, hopefully this doesn't turn out to be horrible. I'm probably going to do this in a different style. I'm probably just going to do a bunch of progress updates, and um, now thinking of that, this video probably isn't going to be uploaded until next weekend, so we'll have been a month plus a week since the last um, scrap mechanic video, so um, sorry, but uh, let's just get started with something that I forgot right here. I'm just going to copy this name, and I'm going to remove the buttons here, because if I have to do that every single time, I will be very annoyed, so let's just save that right there. And apparently that's um, a completely different thing, despite the fact that it's the exact same name. That's a weird bug. It's supposed to overwrite. Okay. Either way, I really hope that I didn't mess this up in any way. Um, but I just removed the buttons, and that shouldn't really affect it. So, I honestly have no idea how I'm going to build this computer. I'm probably going to do it in a similar manner that I did with my last computer. I'm just going to have an absolute crap ton of plates just strewn along here. Um, and of course with a big, uh, or with, with a buffer from the ground so that I can actually detach it. So I'm gonna be quiet now and keep building this.
All right, that's probably a good start for this. Now, I could be making a very bad decision here, but I think I might know how I want to set this computer up. Um, of course, I'm not a computer scientist or whatever they're called that design computers. Um, <laughs> I, I really hope that I'm not wrong with that name, um, but. I don't know how computers work, you should know this, I'm just making this for the fun of it and hopefully it works and hopefully I get something out of it. So I'm going to make like a main bus, uh, but everything is going to go through it and I have no idea how that's going to work. So I'm just going to have this uh, probably right over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. I'm going to paint these blue. If I can actually do that properly. Now, paint schemes. Um, I'm thinking this light color. Um, yeah. Hang on a minute. Let me let me look at what I did on the last computer. Okay, so it looks like on my last computer I did light um, for least significant and dark for most significant. So I'll just carry that over here since you know there's no real way of you know, sort of figuring that out without just randomly assigning it. So that is how we're going to do it. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this. I'm going to paint these so that they're all the same. Then I'm going to save it. Paste, override, and there we are. And I love saving stuff to the lift. Okay. So that is our first little thing of address, or, um, sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, it's late. Um, <clears throat> so, th that's, you know what, I'm just gonna stop talking and start building. That's probably better. Uh, that's a little bit concerning. Is it a Is there a random chance of that happening? Please tell me there's a random chance of that happening. And it's just not broken in some weird way. How did that happen? Okay. I need to ask somebody about that, because... Okay, now it's flashing. This is... What else is flashing? It's exclusive or memory and it doesn't have an input. How is this flashing? do not understand what is going on here. And it is, yeah, there we go. It's completely random every time I spawn a new one in. I really hope that, and it doesn't, oh no. Hang on a minute. then they all turn on. What on earth is going on here? Regardless of that, I've just realized that I'm an idiot and forgot to add a gating mechanism to the output of these, so that uh, five minutes of progress is now gone. All right, so I've fixed that issue. Now I have a little output guy right here, light blue. 
which outputs there. These are already on. Bit of a problem, you can't really see what the memory is without you know, taking an output for it. Um, so it's going to be kind of hard to read this stuff when we're debugging, but I mean, we're going to have like an output thing, so should be fine. So now I get to uh, go back to welding and connecting all these guys, so lots of fun. Alright, not that much progress made, but I have come up with a system, which is nice because it's always painful if you mess up something this big and I have to start over again. Basically, take a line, connect it up, place a block, place a block, take a line, connect it up, place a block, place a block. So that is going to work out pretty nicely for making sure that I stay sane, because uh, I don't have to spend a quarter of my time redoing everything. Another good way to stay sane when doing this is to listen to Spotify, which is very nice. Um, so, you know, music is amazing, um, except for probably my music, which is another thing that I've been doing lately. I have been composing a little bit for my streaming friend, uh, his name is Rate, on Twitch. Um, I'll give, like, all the information at a later date when he actually starts streaming, but he'll be doing Starbase and all that stuff, and I've been writing the music for his idle screens for Twitch, so... Hooray, my first customer! So, yeah, I'll, uh, give you guys a heads up, because if you like watching all this engineering stuff, then you'll probably, like, you know watching Starbase, if you don't know what Starbase is, it's basically an MMO uh, set in space, basically you get to build your own ship, literally bolt for bolt, beam for beam, plate for plate, every last cable, down to the detail. It is amazing, and I have applied for a key, hopefully it's coming in tomorrow, I'm recording this part on Sunday. Um, I just realized this isn't the outro, so it's going to be kind of weird for this pace, um, but yeah. This is me done for today. I'll check back in tomorrow and start making some more progress on this thing. Hopefully I can get this video uploaded by maybe Friday, hopefully. I, I have no idea how well I'll be able to do this. Again, sorry. And again, thank you. So, <sighs> see what happens tomorrow. Alright, we're back here, day two. Uh, I just realized while I was taking a break for the day, um, I don't have an address selection system, but I think I know how to fix that if I add in all the RAM beforehand. So I'll just add in all the RAM, and then I think I have a way of just plopping in some form of uh, address selection. So I'll figure that out after we do this. So, um, just so that it isn't as boring as a whole bunch of progress updates, I'll do this batch and probably another batch of memory uh, in a time-lapse, because I have some new music to show off. Yay. So, let's get started.
end with only two mess ups and me having to redo the module. Here is the last connection. There we are. I'll do a little bit more work off camera without all those time lapses. Um, hopefully you guys like that music. Let me know in the comments if you know you want to suggest anything, because of course I'm a very new composer, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to change my music, because I'm always looking for some feedback. So I'm going to go and do a whole bunch of work off camera, and I will see you guys the next day. Alright, it is now day four. Skipped an update on day three, didn't really have any time for an update. Um, as you can clearly tell, I have done a lot of work. We are now up to, uh, I believe this is 32 addresses, 64 bytes, because each one of these is two bytes, or 16 bits. Um, so I have one day left tomorrow, or actually no, I, I have one and a half days, basically, because uh, I'm trying to upload this Friday night, so I would like to leave the night for editing this video. So, I have one and a half days to do something that took me three days to do, and it's not going to be as simple as going twice as fast, because the more you add, the less you see. This is a nightmare right here, so much so that I can barely see the blocks, or the logic blocks that I'm trying to connect to, so I have to like put a big old post right there so that I can see which ones I'm connecting. Uh, but yeah, 128 addresses, definitely well out of the park, I am not going to be able to do that, but I do think I might be able to get... 64 addresses. I just have to double this. Probably gonna go out this way, so... Yeah, we'll check back in tomorrow. So, it is not tomorrow, it is the day after. Friday, the day I'm supposed to be uploading this, albeit at midnight, but either way, still on Friday, as promised. And, also as promised, 64 memory addresses. Oh yes, 128 bytes, 64 memory addresses, uh, ignore that, 8,000 connections, which has made a massive blue carpet of connections. This is just absolutely painful. But it is all done, all with the exception of this final connection right here. And you can see right there. Ah, we're done. You can see right there, it takes a good five seconds to travel back and forth. Times a good 2,000 in that region over there. It's not the connecting and lining up and precisely clicking on things. No, it's just the sprinting back and forth after long enough. Uh, but yeah, there we are. All the memory is now done. So, the next thing we're going to do in the next episode, of course, I need to get this video up soon, uh, we are going to deal with the address selection, because right now it's all just wired in, and basically this is no different from this, and it's no different from that one, and no different from that one, they're, they're all the same right now. They all have the same configuration, we need to be able to select each and every individual address, so that, you know, it's actually useful. But that will be done in the next video, after probably a week-long break, because I have had enough of this. This has just been an absolute nightmare, as you might expect. So, that's everything for this episode. Thank you for being oh so patient for me to upload this. Um, I'll, I'll try and get the next one up in a decent amount of time, but of course no promises, because this channel is just a passion project, as is this whole setup here. But either way, I will see you guys in the next video.